And in closing, we'll remind ourselves of this. Acts like this. When this happens, it reminds us to both pray and plan. We don't just rely on on providential meetings, like you just go out each day and just pray that something will fall out of the sky for you. Some some person will ride along on their horse and say, say, would you explain Isaiah's prophecy for me? No, we, we plan. We're a church that puts out goals, puts out uh, steps that we want to take, puts out locations. We, we plan things that the gospel might go forward, but we must also, and every one of you must, be people that pray. That in every gospel tract you hand out, conversation you have, plane you sit on, train you sit on, person you discuss with, you just think this might be the beginning of a glorious testimony for this person. You just pray and you trust God. You do what your invisible hand can only do, Lord God. Help, bless, stretch this experience to be something gloriously more than what I have planned. We should plan and we should pray for God's beautiful providence to come about. And if none of you, if there are people in our midst today who are not Christians, who who all of this sounds nice and cool, nice stories, but you are not in Christ. That is, you have not placed your faith in Jesus called on him to save you because you do not recognize you're a sinner, then know today this is an ordained meeting between you and God. That you've come here today, maybe you had plans, a friend invited you, you just happened to get up and rock up here, but you are here by the sovereignty and the providence of God that you might hear him offer to you in sheer grace and love and mercy, his son Jesus. Jesus came into this world, lived as a perfect human being, and then died in our place and for our sins, the very punishment and death that we all deserved. And then he rose, and he rose with the declaration and commission to his people, go and tell the world, I'll be with you, but you go and tell the world that if they just believe their sins are forgiven, if they just rest on Jesus Christ and rely on him for salvation, they will be forgiven of all of their sins, given a new heart, given a freedom from sin, and given eternal life that will one day usher you into the presence of God eternal. 